Oh, good morning all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old get in the corner again on a Tuesday that is still overcast and it has been raining again. Might stop this week if we're lucky. <laughs> there again, there is a little bit of blue showing in through so I hold up hope. <laughs> But uh, what are we seeing today now? Oh, oh, oh. the ginger chav. <laughs> Wants to make herself look good. And she thinks that hiring a photographer for 68 grand a year is the way ahead. <laughs> That's 68 grand of our money, by the way. Taxpayers' money, not hers. So the taxpayers' funding this harebrained idea of hers you know at a time when they keep going on about filling this uh, alleged two billion pound 20 billion pound sorry black hole in the finances i mean you can get a fucking train driver for that sort of money nowadays <laughs> You know, I mean, you're supposed to be getting paid to help destroy, I mean, um, help run the country. Not do fucking fashion shoots. I mean, you can't make a, a silk purse out of a sow's ear, can you, as they say. You know, I mean, I suppose it could stop you looking like a a chain smoking bag lady if he was that good or some reject from a fucking rave somewhere uh, maybe it's not a bad idea but why I mean nobody wants to see you in public nobody wants to see your face you know just like Starmer and Reeves and all the other people in your party there, that you just need to be gone. You really do. But you got your Labour conference going on now, haven't you? Up there in Liverpool. That's going really well for you, isn't it? You know, you're exposing yourselves to more ridicule, more mistrust, being bred with every fucking word. I mean, Reeves had a heckler shouting at her yesterday. Um, <laughs> yeah, they forcefully removed him from the arena. But it's what she said afterwards that caught my ear. You know, we will not put up with protests. So there you have it. You disagree with them in any way, shape or form, they will remove you. They will put you in prison. And she continued making herself look really, really out of touch. Going on about bringing investment into the country, bringing money into the country to help the economy. While with the other hand, you're driving people with money out of the country. You know, millionaires are clambering over themselves to leave the fucking country because of what you're doing to it. <laughs> no. <laughs> If there was anybody out there thinking of investing in this country, do they really? Do you really think they would invest after seeing an unstable government that's fighting amongst themselves? A country that is rife with crime, it's riddled with crime, to the point where even the police and the uh, justice system are both corrupt. A country that is overrun with illegal immigrants that are being treated better than the uh, indigenous people. You know, and these people are more willing to kill, stab, rape anybody that they feel like by the looks of things. You know, a country that frees paedophiles, murderers, rapists, from prison sentences, but will lock somebody up for calling somebody one. 
<laughs> I mean, the only people that are going to invest in this country are the criminals themselves, isn't it? <laughs> they see openings where other people don't. And it's only going to get worse. But uh, I'll keep this one short today, folks. Uh, I'm still not in my best. I'm still very, very tired. And uh, from next week, I've got another round of uh, appointments with doctors, consultants, and investigations, and all sorts into what's going on. So, yeah, lots of probing. <laughs> But until the next one, guys, as always, stay safe, stay strong, stay absolutely free. I just don't know what to say. I can't come up with anything after that. But just be safe out there, guys.